Question 5. Question 5 has got, has got the exponential form. f of x is 4 to the index negative x, negative 2. Let's just quickly take us back to basics about the exponential. The exponential graph in general, if you consider the equation fx or y equal to a to the x, and you take your base a, if you take that base a, and you choose that to be positive, greater than, than zero, right? Then you're going to find, <coughs> in this case, <coughs> let's just quickly see besides it being positive, if you also choose that base a greater than one, in that case a four, you would now find something interesting. Now let's just look at the equation y equals four to the x. As with many curves, most curves, we're going to look at the x-intercept, the y-intercept. To find the x-intercept, we would make y zero. If you put y zero, zero is now equal to four to the power x. Now, obviously, that's not possible. That's not possible, and hence, that y equals zero, which is actually the x-axis, becomes an asymptote. So if I go and draw that graph, I know straight away the x-axis is a no-go zone. It's an asymptote. My graph is on the positive side. Y is positive, and hence it's lying above the x-axis. Where does it cut? The y-axis, the y-intercept always happens when x is zero. So if x is zero, y becomes 4 to the power naught, which is 1. So that is what that graph will look like in general. If you now take that same graph and you add plus q, in this case plus 3. Now let's just look. The x-axis was your asymptote. It cut the y-axis at 1, but now you're adding 3. You're adding 3 in the y direction. Hence, this whole graph was shifted up by 3, and your asymptote, your asymptote is now at y equals 3 instead of the x-axis, which was y equals 0, so you've raised the graph by 3. Instead of the y-intercept being 1, it's 1 plus 3 now, so that is 4, and the graph is decreasing because the a value, the base, was more than 1. If you now took the a value less than one, let's say a quarter. Now, very important, as was done in this exam, they've manipulated the quarter and they wrote it as four. Instead of a quarter to the positive x, it then becomes four to the minus x. In that case, the graph decreases, same features as earlier, but instead of increasing, it is now decreasing. I just want to quickly point out, because often we get confused, the inverses of both these graphs. If I work with 4 to the x, the graph which was increasing, I would find that I'm switching x and y when I deal with the inverse. So f to the minus 1 representing the inverse is a switch between x and y, so x is now equal to 4 to the y. How do I get rid of that index? That is where this lovely term logarithm comes in. Logarithm is basically, as its definition, implying index. So the index is now becoming log of the number that I've been working with, right? And the base is 4. So y is now log of this number x, of which the base is 4. What does that graph look like? If I look at the 2, 4 to the x has an upward movement. In the case of the inverse, I'm switching x and y. So instead of a y-intercept, there is now an x-intercept. Instead of this graph, 
the F graph leaning towards the negative x-axis, the inverse is leaning towards the negative y-axis, and then proceeds through y, sorry, x equals 1. Let's just look at if your graph was the quarter x, that would have been a slope down, and it is leaning towards the positive x-axis, therefore the inverse graph would now be going towards the positive y-axis and cutting the x-axis at 1 instead of the y-axis. So, ladies and gentlemen, we plan to do a few more things, but one gets so excited and so caught up in the beauty of mathematics that often we find ourselves seeing so much which we should always be thinking about most of the time or all the time in order to do well in an exam. Not just wait in the exam, do your homework meticulously, sit down, ask questions, think about what the question says, then get to a proper conclusion. Ek hoop, ek was vandag van hulp vir u gewees, soos op een vroege geleentheid, en ek sien uit daarna om binnenkort weer met u te gesels. O nou wiskunde, is nie net die vak wat die lewe betekenis geen nie, maar het is eindelijk die lewe, so geniet het.